on his birthday peter got a collection of sherlock holmes from his grandfather he was very excited to read the books but as soon as he opened the book he saw that the print was too small for him to read but he wanted to read the book also then he suddenly remembered detectives using magnifying glasses in their crime scenes so he immediately got hold of one from his father and used it to read the book now he was highly amused with this new magnifying glass he wanted to see everything through it so what he did was he cut a rose stem and observed it under the mic under the magnifying glass in the hope of seeing plant cells but he was highly disappointed because he did not see plant cells what he saw was just an enlarged image of the cut out stem well this is because magnifying glasses have a magnification power of about 20x that is it can magnify an object about 20 times which is not enough to observe cells because cells are very tiny and it cannot be observed under the magnifying glass then how do we observe cells if we cannot use magnifying glasses then what do we use to observe cells well scientists invented a special instrument which is known as the microscope and through the microscope cells can be visualized anton van leeuwenhoek was a simple dutch tradesman but had one of the most innovative scientific minds he was working with lenses and he built the first simple microscope that had a magnification power of 200x that is the simple microscope could enlarge or magnify an object about 200 times which is about 10 times more of what the magnifying glass was being able to see this is what a simple microscope looks like now robert hooke was an english physicist he furthered this invention of a simple microscope and he developed the first compound microscope that had two biconvex lens see with this compound microscope he observed cork which he obtained from a plant and this is what he saw see he saw these tiny structures and he called this observation cellula in latin which means small room see these are small room like structures and hence he named this observation cellula so what are the advantages of compound microscope over simple microscope well a compound microscope has a light source it has uh, it is more convenient to use and it also provides a better magnification than a simple microscope now the observation that robert hook made was of cork cells but even those cells were too tiny to understand they were not distinct enough so if you want to see the same cork cells uh with a better magnification you can use a modern light microscope that has a magnification of 2000x that is 10 times more of what the simple microscope was giving
and the same cork cells look like this under the modern light microscope. See, the structures are more distinct and more enlarged. Now, if you want an even better magnification, then you can use a modern electron microscope that has a magnification power of 200,000 X, which is 100 times more of the previous microscope. And the same cork cells are observed like this. See, it is visualized better, it is more distinct, and you can see the three-dimensional structures of the cells. So how were the microscopes evolved? First, the simple microscope was invented by Anton van Leeuwenhoek and it had a magnification power of 200x. Next, the English physicist Robert Hooke invented the compound microscope that had two biconvex lenses. Next, came the modern light microscope that had a magnification power of 2000x and it helped in visualizing the cells better. And for the best magnification, one can use the modern electron microscope that has a magnification power of 200,000x. If you observe cells, under the microscope, this it is what it looks like. See, it looks black and white and the inner structures of the cells are not very distinct. Now, what can you do to visualize it better? Well, you can stain it with appropriate stains and see, it appears bright and colorful like this. See, all the internal structures are now more distinct and even the cellular boundary is comprehensible. So, staining improves visualization. Now, let us see some magic of microscopy. You've often seen flies like these sitting on cut vegetables or fruits. Now, one day, what you wanted to do was you wanted to use that magnifying glass that was lying around at home and you wanted to visualize this fly under the magnifying glass. So, you'll see the fly like this. An enlarged image of the fly about 20 times. See, the wings are visible, the legs the eyes are more distinct. Now you want to see the eyes now. You want to focus just on the eyes and see how they are made or how they look like. Now the magnifying glass won't be able to show you how the eye looks like because it has a magnification power of about 20x which is not enough to focus just on the eyes. So now you need a microscope. And under the microscope, the eyes look like this. See? All the facets of the compound eye of a fly is distinct. So, microscopy not only improves visualization, but it has also opened a wide field of study in front of us.